Ever wonder how makeup artists make skin look so good or why Hollywood stars look so flawless? Well, Shobana is going to show us some of the easiest makeup artist tricks that you can use at home to perfect your base. And Shobana, I hear even some of these hacks have gone viral on TikTok. Yeah, makeup artists wow. are all about like repurposing, mixing, customizing, reversing the order. And Gen C is all about the experimentation. Yes, they are. Sometimes <laughs> it looks great and I'm like, yes, for the info. And sometimes I'm like, oh, let's simplify it a bit. Okay. Yeah. All right. So so your first hack is is about reversing the order so mm -hmm. usually we end with powder and setting spray this hack that went viral on TikTok is to use your setting spray and powder right after your moisturizer it's oh. your first step if you wear makeup watch change your whole routine and try this instead so this is like the Maybelline fit me that was uh -huh. used in the video dust it all over your face this actually will just help set in the moisturizer in your skincare and keep your oils from disturbing your makeup if you have oily skin. So use it first. Use okay? it first. Yeah. Okay. And if you have drier skin? And if you have drier skin, I like the sandwich technique. This mm -hmm. is what I use for myself. So you'll see the NYX, um, the setting spray a lot because it's affordable and it works. Yeah. And I like using this before the foundation and then after the foundation because it really melts the makeup together and makes mm. your skin look like skin. So you don't look like you're wearing makeup. And it doesn't look cakey. And it doesn't look cakey, especially okay. in the winter time, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. on the drier side too, so that would be... Uh, definitely for me. Yeah. We're going to tackle contour now, which yes. I find is very tricky. Yes. And uh, some people are like, it's all over the face. How do you do it properly? Yeah. Okay. So there's so much information, but we still can't get it right. Yeah. So <laughs> I saw this on social media. She basically applied contour on her cheeks, her lips, her forehead. And I was like, wow. And then foundation. And I'm like, that's oh, a lot of work. Yes. And I feel like maybe if you're in 20s, it's okay. Yeah. Maybe if you don't want your pores clogged, it's okay. Yeah. But um, I decided that a much easier way is to just use a contour stick. And yeah. have you heard of Makeup by Mario? Absolutely. He's Who has famous. It? Yeah, he's an icon. And he came out with his own line of makeup products. Yeah. And you can trust him. He knows his colors. Okay. Um, and so he has a contour stick that comes with the actual applicator at the end. See how it's ridged? So that's going to help, I guess, in, the, in the application. Just blend it in. Exactly. Got it. So you don't have to, you know, necessarily do like the scarecrow look yeah. and put everything all over your face. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to use this product. Okay. So that's your color right there. Okay. Basically, all you want to do is find your cheekbone. I'm nervous. Okay, got no, it. No, you can do it. You can do it. We can do all this. Right. We got this. Um, and then just feel right under your cheekbone. Right here. And yeah. I'm just going to ask you to just draw a one-inch line like that. Yep, you got it, right? A little bit a little bit more. Okay. Tracy will fix it later. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry, T. And then use this sponge uh -huh. and just blend it in. And all you're doing is pulling downwards, Tracy, and then just upwards. And this is gonna create a really beautiful lifting effect, natural contour, and you're good to go. And it and took that's one it. product. Yep. It took one product. See, I like it when you can find products that are just making things easier. Because, yes. I mean, if we learned anything, uh, if we've learned anything during this pandemic, it's like, take it easy. Yes. Right? Like, maybe not the 17 steps. We maybe can't do we're it just going to do it. We don't want to do we're it anymore. To it I know anymore. I don't want to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you for that one. Next time, uh, next we're going to do uh, blush. Yes. Yeah, blush is also hard. It is hard. And you think it'd be easy. So it's all about placement. Yeah. Um, again, I saw something else on social media where. The girl was putting red lipstick all over her cheeks and her forehead and then covering up foundation for this natural blushy look. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, it's a lot a of natural. product. Yeah. <laughs> Again, my plug, my plugs, my clo my clogs, my pores. Your pores are clogged, aren't they? It's all in one <laughs> word. <laughs> exactly. With that kind of makeup. And right. I'm like, why are you making it so complicated? So yeah. whether it's bare face or foundation, I really recommend using a cream blush. Yes. Because it feels like skin. Mm -hmm. Tower 28. It's a clean brand. It's Asian founded. Yeah. And all I recommend doing is taking a little bit on a sanitized finger yes. and then just dabbing it onto the upper portion of your cheekbone. Oh, so that's interesting because I always thought maybe that should be on the apple of your, uh, like right there on the bone. Yeah, but no? great question. You know what? It depends on your face shape. Right now, okay. the trend is to give yourself a lift, yeah. so to put it on the top and then around your temples. Yeah. But if you have more of a narrower face or you have more of an angular face, yeah. I definitely yeah. think you can bring it down a little bit. Okay. Just to Got kind it. of plump up the cheeks and yes. stuff. I think it'll look really great. Yes. And I want to do a call out because this brand actually did a collab. Can I see that for a second? Yeah. Tower 28. Yeah. Oh, there you can see it. So, why do you love them? 
So I love them because they're actually a favorite of Jessica Smalls, and she is a black makeup artist that oh, is nice. also the artist for Lil Nas X, in, Janelle Monae. Yes. Um, and this brand collabed with her to come out with inclusive bronzers. Very so nice. So you've got all the light. colors there. Yeah. And that's what you want. You yes. want to know that everyone can use them, everyone yes. can contour, everyone can use blush and bronzer. Um, it's about time all of the companies came yeah, on board with absolutely. that. absolutely. So really nice and good application. What are we doing next? What's our next hack? Okay, so our next hack, when it comes to makeup, it's all about skin care, okay? Yes. Skin care prep. And also getting the makeup off because makeup mm -hmm. does clog the pores and even if you don't see it, yeah. it can, it's there, okay? Yeah. And so I'm a firm believer in the double cleanse, okay. which means that you're gonna start with an oil cleanser first yep. and then use your regular cleanser. Got the it. Oil cleanser will take all the makeup off very gently yes. and then the regular cleanser will just cleanse your skin. So we're gonna try an experiment. Okay. okay are you ready? Let's do an experiment. Okay. So we have these bowls of water Yeah. Um, and we have oranges. The yeah. oranges have foundation on them Okay. and they're going to represent our faces with makeup on and with pores. Okay. Okay. Yep. Now the first one we're just going to actually dip in water and wash with just a regular cleanser. No oil cleanser first, okay? Okay. Yeah. So give it a rub, like give this is rub. you, you've just come home from yeah. work, you wanna get that yep. makeup off. You're gonna spend like 10 seconds because you know we don't spend that much time. No, I'm very fast. Yep. Too now fast we're gonna actually. Rinse it. Rinse it. Yep. And so then, mine looks filmy and gross. Yep, and so does mine, right? Yeah. And you can see it more on this because it's an orange. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just happy you, you didn't say do it on our face. <laughs> exactly. Like, Tracy honey, he would not be happy. Yeah, I need this face. <laughs> Next, we're actually gonna use the oil cleanser Thank you. first, okay? So okay. I'm using the Biosans oil cleanser, and this is one of my favorite. Just squirt some on there for me. There you, there go. you go. Oops. So. I'm gonna squirt some on mine. Um, the oil is, yeah, it seems to be really taking it off. Do you off. see how yeah. fast mm -hmm. it just comes off? So you would take it off the first thing with the oil. Yes, you would take it off first thing with the oil, and it really gets to your pores, and then the second you can follow with the regular water-based hydrating cleanser. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is basically, I would stop at the oil, but you yes. shouldn't. Yeah, I saw because the stuff oil, that was left yeah. over. Oil can leave yeah. residue as well, so you have to get rid of, the oil gets rid of the makeup, your gentle cleanser gets rid of the oil. <laughs> Yeah. But look! Ta-da! <laughs> if you want to see a comparison, this was just with the one with, with, without, without, the, without oil, the oil cleanser, and, and this, this is, is the with one the oil with cleanser. the oil. So you are clean, and your pores are not clogged. Yeah, and we're doing science experiments now to I really show you the difference. Like, this is the impact on your skin. Really good, yeah. Shobana. Great hacks, a lot of fun, a lot of insider information <laughs> there.